Sweeney up here. It's kind of nice. <laughs> we set this in a little bit. Uh, you know, basically, I decided to come back to school, and, and the biggest thing that I want to say is just, uh, you know, I love Clemson University, and I'm excited and ready to get out there on the football field, and excited to see all the support they have for our team, and, uh, you know, just really turn the page and, and getting ready and geared up for football. So, uh, you know, right now I can take some questions if anyone wants to, you know, ask anything. I think the question everybody just keeps throwing out there, and people that know you say there's no chance of it, but in the 11th hour, August the 14th, somebody, you know, the Rockies call up and, and throw that life-changing money at you. What is your response to that? Well, basically what we said to them is we've been honest the whole time. We told them the truth and, and what we're going to do. And whenever the 20th passed, I told them that there was not a chance that, that I'm coming back, and or there's not a chance that I'm giving up football anymore. I'm going to come back and at least play this fall. and. We're uh, right now going to try to work on a deal that allows me to come back and, and play this ball and then, you know, ultimately go play baseball in the spring. So you're hopeful that before the deadline with the Rockies you'll have a contract <clears throat> signed? I mean, honestly, we're really thinking that when the deadline comes it's going to come all the way down to the end just like yeah. it did on the 20th and we're preparing for that and, and uh, I know I'm going to have to make some decisions when, the, when that point comes again. Kyle, will that be a, how much of a distraction will that be for you as you're trying to get ready for football season? I don't think it'll be too big of a distraction. I think uh, I think we have a good idea about what what they are thinking, and I think um, you know hopefully we can reach a, a common ground and, and something that we can both agree with and feel comfortable. Is it likely that you could play beyond this year if you're in Clemson? Uh, that's to be determined. I think uh, that'll all come out whenever we start getting into those negotiations. As of now, we really haven't got into that and I don't think we really will until you know that it gets closer to the deadline, pretty much the day of the deadline actually. How nerve wracking was it the in the uh, days leading up to July twentieth, not knowing what was gonna happen? I think uh, you know, on the twentieth was pretty much the most nerve wracking. I didn't really know what was going on and we were just throwing numbers out and going back and forth with them and it really went down to the last minute and, and then I had to make a decision and uh, basically I, I had told him one thing and and we couldn't really agree on it, and, and I had to go back and, and make this decision. I'm happy for it. It feels like it was the right thing for me to do, and you know I'm excited to be back here. We get a, we get a bunch of texts from teammates and friends and things like that leading up, like, yeah, tell yeah. us what are you going to do? What are you going to do? My phone was blowing up, just like, well, what are you decided at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon? I'm like, it doesn't. I mean, I don't know yet, and I think it was a big decision for me, and uh, I'm just happy that a lot of people were there supporting me and, and uh, had my best interest. You feel like a lot of that weight's off your shoulder? Um, some of that weight's off your shoulder now? Yeah, definitely. I, I still think that, you know, I pretty much have the best of both worlds. I'm going to have an opportunity if I want to take it, and uh, we agree on it to go play pro baseball. And I get to come back and play college football and, you know, continue getting an education here. And, you know, what more can you ask for? I'm definitely blessed to be here and, and blessed to have both those things still on the table. When you broke off negotiations on the 20th, if that's what you want to call it, how far away were you on what you were asking and what they were willing to get? Uh, that's a tough question to answer. I think uh, it's a lot for me to give up to, to, I mean, it's worth something for all that I'm giving up to come back and, and just play, you know, baseball. But, uh, you know, I think we were clear with each other, and, and I still think there's a lot of room for us to work something out that uh, makes both parties happy. How much you know from your standpoint that when you, when your father, I guess, had a discussion the night that you were drafted, that they had an understanding of what you wanted, but were you disappointed? felt there was an understanding there, but they never kind of got to where you guys wanted them to get. I mean, the biggest thing is, is there's a lot of stuff that, that we need to work out. And, and at the end of the day, I, I'm comfortable with my decision. I think uh, they're still going to come and, and give us a good offer and, and make us happy. And, and hopefully we can uh, get on the same page. I have a lot of people that are, uh, you know, really good people working in their front office and uh, working with our family. And, and ultimately, I think we're going to come to a deal, and I'm going to be able to come back and play football and, and then play uh, baseball in the spring. How were much you were you convinced at any point during the summer? Were you convinced that you would not be back here? Did you ever? Think I mean, whenever you get drafted in the first round, do you, uh, you know, pretty much think that, uh, you know, I was going to be gone? And I thought that for a little bit. And uh, it's funny how things work out. Whenever I made a, a decision to to come back, it just felt, you know, at peace, and it felt like it, it worked out for a reason. So I'm excited to be back here and have the equipment.